What's up everybody? The Nun 2 is out, but was it good or not? Let's talk about it. So listen, I was never a fan of The Nun 1. I didn't think it was that good of a movie. I liked The Nun, the character of The Nun, and I thought the best representation up until this movie was The Conjuring 2. Um, I didn't really have high hopes going to this movie. The trailer looked intriguing, but then again, so did the trailer for the first one. So I really didn't know what to expect. I went to go see it last week, low expectations, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. One of the best horror movies of the year. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about where it sets, but it's definitely one of the best that I've seen. And what I loved about this is it showed the power of the nun more so than has ever been shown previously. And it also did a callback of sorts that it, it had a callback of sorts to the second one where she was essentially controlling the ghost of the movie. And it also had a great tie in to the first nun. I thought it was very, very well done. And with the idea of making it bigger and making it making the nun come across more powerful, the entire movie gives you a feeling of unease. Because generally, when you watch a horror movie, and you see a slasher style or a demon style or something like that. It's usually one spot, right? Like one seat, one area that's affected. And it's one area that if you're not in that area, you really don't have to be worried of any jump scares or anything, anything popping up. This was not the case. No matter where they went in this film, you always had the feeling of she could be anywhere. You always have the feeling of, of complete unease. And when you go into a horror movie like this, and especially the tagline for this one was like the, the most powerful evil in the Conjuring universe. So they had, they, they put a lot into this to show what this, this villain could be. And I think it was very, very well done. Now, it also gave them the, the done purpose versus just being this thing to kind of go after people. It gave the nun purpose. They were, it was, the nun was actually after something. Now, in that same vein, once the something that is after comes into, comes into play, it kind of took me out of the movie a little bit. I'm not going to go into detail as to why. If you want to know, just leave a comment and I'll, I'll, I'll get with you about why. And I'll talk about it later as the movie's out a little longer. I don't want to spoil anything right now, but for those for those of you that do not know whether or not you want to see it, it's definitely worth a watch. It's way better than the first one, and it's one of the best to come out of the Conjuring universe, in my personal opinion. It was great acting, as, as, as it always is in the Conjuring universe. It was a feeling of overall dread, some very solid jump scares, and they were not afraid to go places that you would think they would never go. No one in this movie was safe. It doesn't matter age, doesn't matter whatever. No one in this movie was safe. And it was a bold movie that was willing to take chances. And the chances paid, the paid, off, paid off. And it added to, to the, entire, the entirety of the movie. So, very impressed with The Nun 2. If you have not seen it, Go check it out. If you have seen it, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. But obviously, keep it spoiler free for right now because it's only been out for a little over a week. So, um, yeah, that's my that's my review, guys. I loved The Nun. I thought it was very, very good. And, yeah, so if you're new here, this is the Glad Sword Channel, the best horror channel here on YouTube. I do top 10 lists. I do horror movie reviews, as you just saw. I do trailer reactions. And, but it, and I also take requests. So if there's something you guys want to see on this on this channel, Please let me know, um, and I will. I, and, and just and definitely like and comment because I need to know that you will like this type of com content, and I continue to do more of it. So again, thank you. See you guys next time.